Right now I'm feeling 100%, you know, my left arm, it took a few months for it to be back to full strength and know right away I was super nervous just because I couldn't even curl a 20 pound weight with my arm. And so it was just, like it felt fine, like there was nothing wrong muscular, but as far as the connection from my brain to my nerves to my arm, it's been damaged, so it's pretty scary, but it's 100% now, so I'm trying to keep it that way. Did you feel like that was a cheap shot? Uh, 100%. <laughs> I mean, I got his top of his helmet right into my face, you know, so well uh, this offseason what was it uh, about your game that you wanted to improve upon to kind of make you guys a better force in that backfield uh, definitely probably my routes just because I would want to be more involved in different places uh, you know Wiz always talks about you know we want to change up and give defense a different look so that involves me getting out of the backfield getting in the slot with Melvin still in the game and so okay they have two rare right backs in the game so now we're getting different looks and I need to have my routes and be able to have Phil trust me that I'm going to be in the right spot and trust myself I'm going to be able to win in space. You guys ran that a couple of times last year. How do you feel like it worked? Yeah, you know, I thought we had a lot of success with it. And so we're trying to incorporate as many things so we can do different looks. Might use a lot more, might not. You know, it's just we want to have it. Be awesome. And for me, for me as an individual as well, going forward too. You know, just as a player. Also, last year you talked about what a difference a year makes being in the NFL for a year. Now that you firmly established, established yourself as a running back in this league, what about two years? Shoot, it feels like I'm a bat now. You know, I come in, I see see the rookies coming in. I'm just like, man, I remember that. You know, I, I talk to these guys. I'm like, hey, like, just the whole your whole life right now, just studying because you know, I know I've been there. You know, I was six string running back coming in, right? You know, undrafted. You know, I wore number three. You can't even wear three as a running back. Really, you know, so I'm like, hey, man, I've been there. So now looking back, it's like, man, the journey. It's 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 a great journey to watch. You know, just being through it. I've had success with it, obviously, so it makes it a little better. But just as far as seeing these young guys and out here and they're messing up, and don't get discouraged. You have, you have time to go through, but yeah, I just feel I just feel so comfortable as far as with the team, the scheme, everyone. So it just allows me to grow as a player. Different aspects. Do you notice some of the young guys coming up to you and maybe maybe you read a little bit, knowing your story? Yeah, yeah absolutely. It's smooth. Uh, there's a, his name is Jason. He came from YouTube. So uh, I was like, I used to ask him questions. I was the same way, and I was looking for any any advice from anybody. Please help me, you know, because I was the only running back too, so that was a different thing. Those old older guys didn't have another rookie to bounce off. Yeah. Back there, so, yeah. So studying is that the biggest lesson you have for rookies? Out is, here is right now, learning yeah. Lessons, because learning your books, place. Studying is definitely the biggest thing right now, just because right here, you know, we don't have pads on, so you're not going to be blowing anyone out, making huge plays like that. You know, it's more of a technique thing right now. Sure, I mean. You want to be playing fast, obviously, but you can't play fast. Like I remember, if I just had OTAs or minicamp, I would have made the team. But I was all over the place. I was messing up. I was playing slow. It was just because I was thinking so much about, okay, what do I have to do? Oh, we changed the play. Now I don't. Let's have this play. And so it's just a mental game right now. That's what OTAs is for. It's kind of slower, and you know we fine tune it. And so get it down. By the time training camp comes, that's when you really need to prove yourself. That's when you do need to be making your shoulder pads on now. So you don't want to be thinking then in the season even more. Austin, you have a pretty talented running back group with Justin, Trez, obviously Melvin. How does that serve as a motivational factor? And how do you guys you know, kind of compete with each other to make each other better? Yeah, you know, like, I agree. You know, our room is it's fun right now. I love it just because we all see things different ways. And we're all, you know, we have to mesh. You know, just through this offseason, I feel like we came together more than ever. You know, Mel's not here right now, but, you know, he's texting me several once in a while. And he's texting me, too, on plays. Like, hey, what would you do this for? You know, I messed up on the play. Text me the other day. So we still watch the film, but uh, it's just it's just we succeed in different ways. Like Justin, he's more of a little quick twitch guy, you know. I, I'm a slant cutter, and Melody do it all, run people over. I don't know how it does. It's just so slippery, but it just helps us, you know, see different things. It's like, well, I would have done this this way, you would have done that that way. It's like that's fine. And it's, with us right now, we got younger guys, and with Detrez and Buster and uh, Jeremy, and so it helps us when we're teaching them to, uh, you know. Here's the scheme, here's how it works, and we're teaching them, and it's teaching us too to see things differently. Yeah, so I, I'm excited about it.